I enjoy using Anchor podcasting services. For one, it's an easy setup. Secondly, you can do everything on the same platform, which includes record and then add music to your podcast if you like. And once your podcast has been saved, you can then distribute it to other platforms with the click of a button. And did I mention that it's free? You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Bringing the Heat listeners. You can visit my website at www reginaweston.com and while you are there you can find all books written by Regina Weston today I have another good one for y'all and I know you can identify with this favoritism favoritism how many of y'all have felt like someone was putting somebody else before you or they were better than you for whatever the reason. And it had you side-eyeing them in your feelings. Feeling some type of way. Raise your imaginary hands. I see you, boo. I see, oh, ooh, yeah, yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all. I see them hands. Okay, lower your hands because we about to get into it. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's a sensitive topic. So please, just get the message. And don't misconstrue. How I convey the message. Now I got to do some reading here. A story by Dave Brennan. And it says. Tragedy struck near Los Angeles in January 2020. When nine people died in a helicopter. Most news stories begin something like this. NBA superstar Kobe Bryant. His daughter Gianna, Gigi and seven others lost their lives in the accident. Now, the moral of this story is, it was seven others on that plane. But did they focus on the seven others? No. It's unfortunate that Kobe Bryant and his daughter lost their life. However, seven other people lost their life as well. Favoritism. Sometimes, because of who people are and what they have, people put them at the top. And those that do not have what that individual have, you come beneath them. I want you to know, I don't care what category you fall into. You are somebody. No one is greater or bigger than you. We are all the same. Now, let me break it down for you. How favoritism affects us all. We have the rich against the poor. We have the whites against the black. We have the Republicans against the Democrats. So they fight like cats and dogs, sometimes on matters that don't matter. You see it every time you watch the evening news. We have different people of different cultures and nationalities against each other. They believe that their culture is better than somebody else's. Can you tell me why? We have favoritism in the church. People fight over titles. I'm a bishop. I'm an elder. I'm a prophet. I'm an evangelist. I'm a missionary. Who cares? If you in the church, your only objective is to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Do you think when you get to heaven, if you make it there, that he's going to say, come on in here, Bishop. I'm going to give you the first seat on the right. Evangelist, you get to sit at my feet. Prophet, you ain't all that. So you get to sit at the back of the door. No, only what you do for Christ, boo. It's going to last. All that other stuff you trying to do. If God ain't in it. It don't mean nothing. We have religious favoritism. My religion is better than yours. Mine is right and yours is wrong. We have favoritisms in our family. Some parents love one child more than the other child. Now let's get into it. How about Rebecca who was married to Isaac. She favored her son Jacob over her son Esau favoritism. We have colorisms in our family. You're darker than a paper bag. I'm light skinned with long hair. My body and my face speaks for me, boo. It opened doors for me. Favoritism. 
We have favoritism. If a person is smarter than the next person. I'm smarter than you. But guess what? Sometimes they ain't got no common sense. This is just a few examples of how favoritism can be shown. But see, I'm going to take it to the Bible for you. So it says, every person on earth is created in God's image. That's Genesis 1 and 2. Whether rich or poor, Proverbs 22. No one is favored more than the other in his eyes. So stop getting it twisted. Walking around here like you're walking on water. We all need God. We cannot do nothing without him. Because see, God don't, he don't play those type of games. Those are human games. God ain't studying that foolishness. God is saying, look at my child. I wish they would open up their eyes and see that I love them all the same. I don't know why they down there on earth fighting, wasting precious time. As if they going to live forever. Sometimes we just need to be reminded that each human is important in God's eyes. You ain't better than me and I ain't better than you. The moral of the story is not to treat one another as if we are not equals. We in this thing together called life. So if you are one of them people that are guilty of the things that I said concerning favoritism, it's time for you to do some self-reflection for the better. I love y'all. Bring in the heat listeners. If you would like to support this podcast, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign R Weston 252. That's dollar sign R W E S T O N 252 under the name Regina Redmond. I would like to thank you for your love and your support. Thank you, bringing the heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring.